Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, uh, we got a lot of stuff to do today. Gotta run some errands once again. I'm always running some errands, I feel like. Gotta go to some, uh, all kinds of different places. Doctor's appointments, haircuts, hair appointments. Gotta go pick up some pops. But before we get on into that today, we, I wanted to show this off. I actually picked this up last night when I bought a, uh, I bought another little table for my room to put all my camera stuff on so I do my videos in here. Not this one in particular, but I do other videos like pot reviews, toy reviews. I have somewhere dedicated for my camera and lights. But while we were there, I happened to look over there in the toy section and this bad boy showed up. Check it out. This thing is freaking awesome. This is one of the best looking Marvel Legend figures that I own, that I've actually seen. As you can see, it's a Walmart exclusive. This just so happened to come out at about the exact same time that all the movie stuff comes out because then the movie has Vulture in it, but this is not the movie Vulture. This is the comic book version of Vulture, I think from Ultimate Spider-Man. This is like a Teen Peter Parker Spider-Man. This is the same one that I have already, I believe. Hold on, let me get the other one. Yeah, see, this is the one that I have here. And this is the one in here. Basically the same thing. A little bit different color. I think I might. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's take these guys out. I just want to show them off real quick before we hit the road. Especially this Vulture, man. That Vulture looks good. It actually comes in two pieces of plastic. There's a part for the figures. Here's the part for the wings. Here's Spider-Man. But like I said, he's not the reason I was showing this two-pack off because we've all seen Spider-Man before. But I do like this Spider-Man. I like the color scheme. I like the body shape. He looks good. But anyway, let's get to the actual real figure that we're here for. This guy. Look at that paint job, man. I love that metallic green paint. The detail in his suit. Look at those gauntlets right there. Like Batman gauntlets. Sharps. Sharp edges. But yeah, this is like the Vulture I remember from the animated series and from the uh, comics. Well, from what I've seen in the comics. So I think the Vulture had like a little feathers and stuff around his, like, whatever around his neck. This is more like just actual suit. So apparently what you do here, you see this little plate back on his back? You pull this off, see? And then the wings go here and you put this back on. And they stay on pretty easy. Snap in place. And there we go. And now he covers up the whole screen. This thing is cool as hell, man. I wish there was some way I could put these guys up here flying. I mean, cool. Need some, like, fishing line or something and some tacks. It'd be awesome to just have them hanging off the ceiling like that. Above all the other toys, ready to come down and pluck somebody's eyeballs out or something like that. Who knows? I don't know what vultures do besides eat dead stuff. I they want Spider-Man. Spider-Man's alive, not dead. And vultures eat dead shit. Yeah, guys, I want to go ahead and unbox these real quick. I didn't want to do a complete tour review. I want to have something open up here on this uh, video. So, there he is. Probably my new favorite Marvel Legend. And this allows me not to have to worry about getting the Vulture from the movie as far as Marvel Legends go. Because to get the wings, you have to buy four other action figures from that series. That's kind of crazy. And then I get this right here and got the wings already. This uh, two-pack was 40 bucks though. Just to get this one figure, but I'm thinking I'll sell that Spider-Man to my uh, friend because he doesn't have actual regular Spider-Man yet. So I might sell that to him so I can just keep this Vulture here. I won't lose so much money in the end, but yeah, that looks pretty cool, man. This figure is freaking awesome. Like I said, guys, we got a lot to do today. Run some errands, get a haircut. My girlfriend's getting her hair done. I'm um, actually going to hit up some stores that I've never been to before. Or one store, GameStop, that I've never been to before. So I can't wait for that. Other than that, I'll probably get some lunch or something down there while we're in town. Anyway, guys, let's hit the road. So we are back home. We have ended a very long day. As you can see, my hair is a little bit shorter. Got me a nice, clean, fresh haircut. I always like to brag about my haircuts. They uh, always look good. Sports Clips actually does a good job. You would think a chain place wouldn't do that good job. They actually do a good job. I think so. That's why I keep going back, I guess. Anyway, I didn't show any of the pops that I picked up today. We picked up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five pops. And uh, all of them 
pertain to, like I said, this series that I'm keeping to, like, oh my, you know, you already heard this story five times. So, I want to go ahead and show them off before I end this video. First one being from Hot Topic. We had, you can't, you can't really see her in the box, but you can see what the name is. This is Maleficent. I've seen the movie, the uh, live action movie, then I've also seen her on the show Once Upon a Time. She is super cool, super powerful. And this one here is very detailed, has a lot, she's heavy, very heavy. Has all that green stuff behind her. Here's the back of the box. We've seen all these before. I've seen the, you've seen the Queen of Hearts that I picked up. Did not get the two pack just because I do not like two packs. And here's the left set. I did not realize that all of these were going to be Hot Topic exclusives, but they are. Even the Peter Pan, which is not shown in the back, but still Disney. Hot Topic. That's crazy. Anyway, so that's it for Hot Topic. We stopped at Books a Million also before we actually went to the mall and picked up a pop. It's an older pop, but I needed to get it to finish out the first series or first wave of these pops. And that is regular Rick. I hadn't picked him up for some reason. I think it was just because I had got the exclusive. I didn't really care about getting this one yet. But I went ahead and got him because this is actually, i only seen two out of the whole. There might have been one of the Toys R Us. But I've seen this one at Books a Million. Went ahead and picked this guy up. Finished out this wave for the, or finished out this series, first wave of Rick and Morty Pops. And I didn't even really realize until the second wave came out that the boxes are actually different, different colors and stuff like that. So didn't even notice that until I picked up this guy. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's Books and Millions Hall. We went to two game stops. First game stop was to pick up a shipment that I had uh, shipped to the store, I guess you would say. It was actually a pop that was shipped from one store to the other. I'm sorry if you hear this fan. It's hot as hell in here right now, so I got a fan going. And I'm not using my good mic, so I can't take out the sound. Anyway, this pop was shipped from another store to my more local store, I guess you would say. And, uh, because I couldn't find it anywhere in town. And apparently everybody that had one, they were all pre-ordered, so I wasn't going to get my hands on one. It is one of the coolest out of this new series that I've already shown you, and that is the Spider-Man Pops. We have the GameStop exclusive, Glow in the Dark, Vulture. Now, I probably won't be picking up the regular Vulture, but since I have this one now, because there's no real reason to. This one looks cool as hell. You can actually see, like, it glows pretty damn good. Let me see if I can try to test it out right now. Look at that! Couldn't really get the light in there on his face, or anything beside his face. Kind of looks like a jack-o'-lantern. But you hold the light up to it, it does glow pretty good. Might do a complete review of this one. He looks cool. The glow's already dimming. Say goodbye, Vulture. Anyway, that's the Vulture. Like I said, I want to pick him up to finish out this series. Still got a few more, but they're all common, so I should be able to get my hands on them pretty damn easy. So, here's hoping. Now, the next stop was at another GameStop that I've never been to before. I did get two pops from them that I hadn't seen anywhere yet, but I'm kind of disappointed in that GameStop. They really didn't have a lot. I was expecting because I knew a manager that used to work there. She was talking it all up like, oh, that store has great stuff. But I get there and I was kind of like, oh, I'm kind of disappointed here. I'm not sure what's going on here. But needless to say, they did have two pops that I don't have and I do want. And these are some cool pops, man. I'm glad I got these guys. First off, we have to go with the phenomenal one. The face that runs the place, the champ that runs the camp, AJ Styles. AJ Styles is uh, relatively, well, he's, he's been in the WWE about a year now. And I mean, his name was pretty big before he got to the WWE, but now it's like pff, skyrocketed. He's probably the most popular wrestler right now going on. Everybody, everybody loves this guy. Even if he's a bad guy, people love him. So yeah, I had to definitely get this guy. Now in this series, you have the Finn Balor, which has a chase with the, the uh, face paint and stuff. I kind of wish this one had a chase, but with different attire. Like the, he, he sometimes he wears red and white, and I like that. But this one's the blue, or even a chase like where his hood's on, and he's like, had the, you gotta watch wrestling and know what I'm talking about. But AJ Styles is cool. I love this pop, man. Really love it. Now this next pop is a pop of another wrestler, probably my number one favorite all-time wrestler of all time, whatever I've said all time twice. Now the pop is kind of a disappointment, but I don't care. Uh, freaking, I grew up on this wrestler, he was freaking great, had a recent comeback, held the belt for a little while, then got his ass whooped at Wrestlemania, but hey, it's time for him to go, he's old, he needed to get out of business while he still can, he went out on top, so I don't care what you say, even if he lost, he still went out on top, and that is Goldberg. Now, like I said, a lot of people complain about his pop, they say, oh, he doesn't quite look like him. I mean, they did the best they could, I mean, all the other real thing you could do is make him a little bit buffer. And maybe a little tiny bit tanner. The other than that, I mean, he looks like Goldberg. I mean, I know that, okay, he's a bald guy with a goatee. You really can't put much detail on that. So, I mean, really, I mean, we can put a few more wrinkles on him now that he's older. Not really. 
But this is Goldberg, my number one all-time favorite wrestler. Can't get wrong with that. He has the WWE attire on the black trunks with the white trim. Didn't wear that in WCW, just wore like black underwear. And then of course he has a tattoo there on his shoulder. It's freaking great, man. So the only ones I don't have out of the series, like I said, I already have AJ Styles. You just saw that one. Don't have Finn Balor and nobody in town has Finn Balor. I don't know what the deal is with that. I gotta go to another town to see if they got it. And there's Mick Foley, which I really don't care about. If it was like Mankind, I might would get it, but it's just straight up Mick Foley. Not that excited. Never was a big Mick Foley fan. Mankind was cool. Uh, who else? Cash Jack was cool. I wasn't a big fan of Do Love or Mick Foley, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe they should do a chase of that. Mick Foley and then chases Mankind. Anyway, so yeah, this guy's cool. I like it, even though he's kind of bland or whatever. Still doesn't matter. I might would consider this a grill, just for simple fact. I'm that big a fan of Goldberg. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that was about it for today. I um, didn't pick up any action figures. Uh, you saw the action figure at the beginning of this video that I picked up. That was last night. And uh, yeah, that's an awesome freaking figure. Spider-Man, don't really care about because I already have a Spider-Man figure. But that Vulture, that thing is on point. I love that action figure already. He's hanging out back there behind me with uh, the rest of the Spider-Man villains. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, don't know what I'm going to be doing next. Oh, wait, I lied. Tomorrow, at the time of this video, tomorrow is free comic book day. So yeah, we definitely got to hit up that and get that Iron Fist pop. And whatever else there is, I can have a chance. I actually have a chance of winning a hot toy, either C3PO or uh, R2D2 or a Deadpool Sasho toy or hot toy, whatever they are called. I have a chance to get one of those for free, but I gotta get early in the morning, like seven o'clock, so I can get down there early and get in line because the comic shop opens at nine. But yeah, guys, that is it for today. I'm about to chill out right now, so y'all guys take it easy. Peace out.